Good morning. I am Dr. P. Usharani, Professor RMD Engineering College. I am going to brief about the topic of Energy Control Center. What is Energy Control Center? If you take care in case of power system, if the power system size increases means the operation and interaction becomes more complex. So it is essential to monitor the information simultaneously for the total power system that is named as energy control center. So what is the major function or fundamental design future of energy center as they enhances the system reliability and the economic feasibility. The major function of energy control center can transmit the control information. For example, you can say raise or lower command of generators and open and close commands to the circuit breaker and the switches. The information coming into the control centers or breaker or switch status, which is the indication and analog measurements. So I have mentioned the basic function of energy control center. What are the basic features? Enhancement of system reliability and economic feasibility. So the basic components of energy control center consist of substation, remote terminal unit, a communication link, and energy management system. The major function of uh, energy control centers, there are eight functions. First function is load forecasting. That is, uh, you have to plan well in advance. Okay, that is the load forecasting. We can have, we can have uh, very short term, short term, medium term, and long term. There are the four cases depending on the time period. We have divided that. And second one is power system planning for generation, transmission, and distribution. Depending on the load, we have to plan. Third one is unit commitment. Unit commitment is uh, that is uh, you have so many operating generating units are there in that uh, which combination gives minimum fuel cost that you have to pick for that uh, we have to take care of the constraints. For example, you can say spinning reserve, minimum uptime, minimum downtime. Hydro constraints, fuel constraints, we have to consider. And for next one is maintenance scheduling. Here that is the planned maintenance outages of the generation equipment over a given future period. Next function is security monitoring. Security monitoring is the online process using the real-time data for analyzing the effects of outages, contingencies on the steady state performance of the power system. Next is state estimation. For state is estimation is the process of estimating the state. Based on the system monitoring data, it produces the best estimates of the power system state. You know that various operating states, okay, five normal alert extremists, emergency, restoration. So we can, the process of estimating the state as state estimation. Next one is economic dispatch. Economic dispatch is to distribute the load among the generating units so as to minimize the total fuel cost. That is the major function. The economic dispatches, uh, you have to find out with the loss or without loss, uh, the minimum fuel cost of the generating units. The last uh, function is load frequency control. In interconnected systems with the two or more independently controlled areas are there. In addition to control of frequency generation within the each area, has to be controlled and maintain the scheduled power interchange. Net power interchange between area 1 area 2 means if in the case of two area system, it will maintain. 
So these are the major eight functions of energy control centers. Thank you.